Good morning, fit and healthy family. So it is Tuesday morning, and as you can see, I'm out getting my steps in already. I'm getting ready to go into the store and get a couple of necessities. Just wanted to check in today about a couple of things. Uh, first of all, a really great article that Dr. Oseem I think it's A-S-E-E-M, Asim Mohatra, um, that he wrote yesterday or the day before. I can't remember when exactly he put it in the London Telegraph. And he wrote specifically about the connection between obesity, uh, metabolic syndrome, and mortality from COVID-19. So he talked about how obesity and metabolic syndrome are linked to chronic inflammation in the body okay chronic inflammation inflammation is not a bad thing okay inflammation happens when you bump your head and a knot <laughs> comes out and your body works to heal that area where you had the injury however if you're in a state of chronic meaning all the time swelling up knots coming out uh, cysts forming and so forth when your body is in that state it's not a good thing. And how is it that we get into that state by under eating lean protein, lean protein family. I cannot stress the importance of lean protein enough, lean protein, under eating lean protein and over eating energy, over eating energy, energy in what forms carbohydrates and fats carbohydrates and fats energy in either one of those forms in excess is not a good thing and i know that now uh, one of the most popular nutritional protocols is ketogenic dieting i'm a huge fan of ketogenic dieting when you're eating either to maintain or you're eating to maybe gain a little bit of muscle but when you're eating these huge amounts of fats on keto, that creates a state of chronic inflammation. Similarly, on the standard uh, high carb, low fat diet, okay? The standard high carb, low fat diet. When you're overeating carbohydrates, you are creating a state of chronic inflammation. So family, I'd like you to really take some time to do your research on this. Um, consider subscribing to my channel. I like to put in uh, practical solutions to the obesity epidemic, uh, nutritional challenges. So many people are just like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to eat. I get it. I've been there. I've been over 200 pounds. I'm not over 200 pounds anymore. And I do uh, figure and bikini fitness competing. Um, and so I am a competitor, I am an athlete now, but I've come a long way. And I also was kind of at a loss in terms of what to do. Now I'm having salads for breakfast every morning. Salads with what? Lean protein, lean protein, okay? Not a whole lot of fats in my salads. For lunch and for snacks, I'm snacking on a little bit of fruit, a little bit of veg, and what else? lean protein lean protein protein you guys the reason why i keep stressing that is because it is the most satiating the most fulfilling macronutrient that you can eat it is filling meaning it keeps you from wanting to keep going back to the refrigerator and keep going back to the pantry and keep reaching in that bag of doritos or that bag of nuts okay so i'm done here i'm gonna go in the store and uh, get my stuff happy tuesday and I look forward to chatting with you guys again tomorrow. And I'll link to Dr. Mohatra's article in the description box. I'm also going to link to a really powerful communication video that I got from uh, mentor George Bruno this morning. All right, take care. Bye-bye.